Rolling out. Bounty Divide. Day one. Let's go. Let's find some <laughs> Deer out enjoying the morning. Much like ourselves. Great Glen Way. Heading southwest. Oh, we lost one. Where's Tindley gone? Yeah. Last of the Great Glen Gates. Here comes Cat to negotiate. Whee! Oh, watch out for the lorry. Really far, far too early for this. How far have we gone? Not far enough. Stiff climb. Out of Drummond's rocket. Whew. Lovely little section here on the way through to Inver Morriston. Is that the next place? Cracking. Morriston, refuelling. Last few KMs into Fort Augustus, which I think we're going to call halfway. Fort Augustus, Port of Cheesy Chips and a wrap. Uh, about one o'clock now, and we're heading off up the Corrierac Pass, 700 and something metres. Very stiff climb out of Fort Augustus. Tinley's just damp, so she'd really be descending back to the bottom and starting again, but we'll let her off. Oh, bit rough. Woo! Windy. <laughs> All the way over the cot, down the other side and back on the tarmac, layered up and caked up. All got a bit chilly on the cold, but looking a bit better on this side. Here we go. 20 past four, 45K to go to Loch Ossian. Looking south to Loch Lagan here. This is where the road comes through from Kingusi to Speenbridge, Fort William. Absolutely beautiful evening. <laughs> My gloves are at the bottom of the shot, it looks like somebody's waving. Loch and Irva. Delightful. Bit of a heady. Progressing well. Hello. Six o'clock, 23k to go. It's a few tired legs out there. Hopefully, a nice smooth bit of gravel to take us up to Loch Ossian. Lights are out, it's got to go down as a full benightment, full benightment today, day one. Uh, the night's drawing in, as it turns out. How are you feeling, Kat? Fantastic. 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 <laughs> Riding to four. Rolling in. Lots of wet today. It's just the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> A cup of soup and tea combo deal. <laughs> Two. 
as you divide. Peloton has become one person stronger today with the addition of Dougal, who kindly brought in beer and crisps last night. Double puncture fast this morning. <clears throat> it was all going well until Deagle, until Deagle turned up and then everyone started getting punches. Back on the road, thankfully. And cruising along the south side of Loch Rannoch. Picnicking scenes. Bit of leave on that chain, maybe, Timberley. Oh. Pushing up over the Larry Garavac or something. Decent headwind up the Glen here and Dougal and Tindley. Well, Dougal in particular, pushing at a ferocious pace. It's almost as if he wasn't here yesterday. Heading up and over the coal. Cruising down into Killeen. Fantastic. Delightful. bit decadent here. This is actually a bit of video here. <laughs> Got to confess to taking the easy Cycle Route 7 out of Killin after the cast stop. So uh, not on the official Badger route here but makes a lot of sense as we digest the chocolate cake rather than trying to battle up muddy single track. Easy mile. Early arrival, still light today, day two. And happy to say nicked in just in front of Dougal for the three points to calendar. Happy with that. Day three of the Badger. Scenes from the Calendar Hostel. Plenty of morning faff going on here, as we like to see. And beautiful sunny day. Ben Leddy in the distance there. And a little bit more faff to be seen. Just see, it's the saddlebags, that's what causes it, I think. Lovely little spin along Loch Venneke in the morning sunshine. And now climbing over the Duke's Pass towards Aberfoyle, where we're hoping to intercept Tullock as he crosses the finish line in the Aberfoyle Half Marathon. Tindley and Dougal driving a very fast pace this morning. And unless Tullock is on absolute wonder form, I think we might have a bit of time to wait in Aberfoyle and see him in. Good colour, colour combination. Porridge on lead out. Back to for lunch. Pulling well. A fantastic little lunch stop, courtesy of the Tullox. Thank you very much, Tullox. And back on the gravel, heading south for Mugdock and our third overnight stop of the trip. And back onto the single track 
of the West Harlem Way. A little bit rocky here. And here we have George Tindley ascending the course. Certainly rewards an attacking, aggressive style. Fantastic stuff. Nicely done, Tindley. Well done. We done that with you. Composed, assured ride. Day four, and we're losing Dougal and Tinley today, and proceeding onwards after some faff to Edinburgh. Curran Valley Reservoir, big old Tailey. Ideal. We'll stop off at the Falkirk Wheel and onward to Edinburgh. Day five, and the final day of the tour today. And just cruising through Dalmany Estate on the way to early coffee stop at Queensbury. And we've got Tom for company today. Oh! And heading north. Lovely bit of Perthshire countryside to finish the tour. Half past four. Train back to Venice very soon. Maybe I was blind, too scared of the lonely. I just needed someone to hold me